Diva, also the Whiskey Diva, and Diva Queen Cayenne. Um, thanks for joining me in another edition of our Whiskey Diva series. Uh, these aren't numbered when we do like mixed drinks or as I'm doing this time around, I'm doing a shooter that you can have uh, for um, St. Patrick's Day. And this is an interesting one because you can also use it again come Cinco de Mayo. Ah, now you're asking what weird combination has she come up with now? Okay, well, I will tell you, and if you, I'm not sure how well you can see in your screens. Um, this one is an interesting mix. Uh, this is an Irish-Mexican combination. It is Talamordu, um, Irish whiskey, and Tanteo, uh, jalapeno-infused tequila. And I got turned on to that uh, about a month and a half, two months ago. I actually got turned on to it initially in the beginning of uh, January when I went to, uh, to do a Friday Happy Hour review with my son and his girlfriend. We went to uh, Division West in West Hartford. And um, they have a uh, spicy margarita made with Tanteo. Um, I got hooked on it, finally had a chance, or finally found it at um, the um, Total Wine and More in Manchester. And since I have become hooked on it and finding all kinds of interesting ways to use it, and I thought, well, let's do something spicy and hot and a little twisted. Okay, a lot twisted. This is me we're talking about. So uh, I decided to put these two together. Um, I'm sipping mine because I've been doing uh, some different videos and different takes on this tonight. So um, I don't want to wind up in the floor. It's very hard to tape when I'm passed out. I find that very difficult. Besides, it's I try not to abuse <laughs> abuse it when I'm doing it. And uh, it's also a good point to keep. If you're going to do these when you're out and about, um, be careful. Really, this is best done when you're not going anywhere and you have somebody... Or somebody's giving you a ride, or you have the number, you're calling Uber or Lyft or a cab. You don't want to get a ride in one of those fancy black and white cabs with the red and, or red and blue or all blue lights on top. That's not the ride you want. Uh, so please be careful uh, for yourself and for others, okay? Just a little word of warning, and you know, if you can't handle it, don't do it. That That's the rule, okay? So, anyway, uh, enough off of that. I get off my soapbox. And uh, what you do is it's half and half of the Tullamore and the Tantayam. And if you haven't guessed already, which hopefully you probably would have, but just in case, it's called the Irish-Mexican TNT. Now, uh, I have some other names for it. Um, hmm. Just because I said I wouldn't chug, uh, shoot it because I have so much to do, it doesn't mean I won't be zipping it during this. Uh, it's whew, got some heat, not overpowering, but it's got some heat, but it's got some smoothness because A, the tequila is pretty good. It's pretty smooth in and of itself. Tullamore is smooth. It's not an edgy whiskey. It, it's by somewhat standards, it was probably a little bit bland compared to some of the other Irish whiskeys as you go up the line. Um, and I say that because it's made for a broader audience. It's still good Irish whiskey, so don't let me get, which is, makes it perfect for this. They, they kind of work in tandem. And they go together well. Um, the other names for this, by the way, if you want to um, use one of the others, feel free. It's also known as the Irish-Mexican Firebomb, the Irish-Mexican Bar Fight, and my personal favorite, the Irish-Mexican Death Wish. So uh, there you have it. Call it whatever you like. Um, enjoy it carefully, please. Um, and you don't, you know, the other thing is, like, I've shot it. I mean shoot stuff all the time, but I prefer, as i gotten older, to just sip it and enjoy it. Not just, okay, I want to get plastered, let's do it this way. Nah. Um, I enjoy it because it's interesting. It's different, and that's what I really like about this one. So, anyway, and again, as I said, you can have this on Cinco de Mayo. Um, so, you know, if you buy the stuff, you'll get plenty of use out of it. Uh, and I'm sure you can find other reasons to put it together. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you have questions or comments, uh, email me at Miss Bree at the Dark Diva Rules or um, drop a line uh, or comment on my YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe if you would and like our, uh, like this video. And um, of course you can also find me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, probably somewhere lurking out in the wilderness. You never know where the Dark Diva will turn up. So, as always, thank you for tuning in, and cheers.